All right, everybody, we're on the exterior of Salamander, Island Packet 43915. As you can see, she is the traditional ivory with camel tan colors, uh, the navy canvas with the tan trim. Which is super uh, popular. Very pretty combination, obviously, with the, uh, with the traditional color. We've got the Iverson Dodger connector panel. Uh, Bimini, and then we have a solar screen enclosure on the boat as well. And then they chose uh, parchment for their offset color because it kind of matched the tan uh, for the helm cover, their winch covers, their hatch covers. Um, you can see, obviously see they did do the arch. We got the davit lines exiting, obviously the arch, they don't have a davit uh, dinghy yet. The lines are just hooked to the stern rail currently. And we also did the engine lift right here, which we redid on number seven. And they asked us to do here, so they must be planning on a larger outboard uh, that they'll mount on the outboard stand right there on the rail. So we make the port side a solid rail versus a gate when we, somebody wants to do the engine lift with the outboard stand. So if you have one gate uh, or one side, the starboard side is, becomes the only way back and forth off the swim step. Twin 425 watt solar panels on top of the arch. Um, you know, they've got some antennas there, obviously a Iridium satellite phone antenna. And, uh, something else. So you can see that they did do manual furling. So we have furling lines coming down both sides from the head sails. We've got our 95% working jib. We haven't put, we did, had, did put up the jib, but uh, we, we left one head sail for them to uh, do with us. So obviously that's the big 170 Reacher, which is the one you want to know anyway. Uh, the jib is relatively easy. I actually put it up by myself. Uh, forward, we have the 44 pound Lumar secondary anchor on the 50 feet of chain and 350 feet of line on the port side. And then to starboard, we have the 65 pound mantis anchor on 400 feet of 3.8 high test chain, the low friends tigress windlass, foot controls on the deck as well as a control uh, at the cockpit. And then uh, I believe this phone uh, is gonna get the wireless uh, windlass remote that's also a chain counter uh, as well because uh, low friends has them in stock again. Washdowns are salt water and fresh water. Obviously, there's no jib boom. We haven't done the jib boom in, honestly, uh, 10 hulls now. Uh, the last boat to get a jib boom was number four, and uh, this is 15. Uh, we, do, we don't even offer the, the boom as an option for the standard equipment anymore. track here on the front of the mast. It's adjustable. We've got the pole lift here. Excuse me, right here. Uh, this is actually a stay sail uh, halyard. So uh, if they want to do the stay sail in storm conditions, they have the ability to still do that. Obviously flag halyards. Uh, these are running back stays. So uh, if you end up putting a, a stay sail up here, you will need to do the running backs. And uh, you know, that would only be obviously in storm conditions. Main sail we don't have up yet. We'll get that up with them as well next week. And uh, I think that's probably just about it. So we wish you everybody the best. Uh, God bless. Come by. Uh, we'd love to give you a tour of the factory. Stay tuned. And uh, look forward to uh, showing you the motor sailor. 
we're gonna have a mock-up finished here in hopefully two, three, four weeks, and we'll get you a video of that, and uh, you know, we'll see what you guys think. All right, God bless, take care. Bye.